I'm at another Sisters on the Fly member, and she's hosting me in her driveway. And I'd like you to meet Karen, and we're even going to try to get her husband to say a few words. So hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? Great. And how long have you been a Sisters on the Fly member? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Mm -hmm. And how long for Sisters on the Curb? Have you had other visitors? I think since it started, yes. I've had uh, three or four other vis visitors. Great. Uh, several of them have stayed a week. And um, it turned into a week. And we've had a real it good time. It often does, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. It does. One <laughs> day turns into seven say. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Terrific. So. Well, let's let's look inside and see yes, what you have it's here. It's a 2015 okay. bag. It actually is my third camper. Third um, camper. Uh, when I joined, I bought a 1965 Beeline, a little canned ham. Okay. And I loved it. And it had a uh, drop floor. Okay. And a high bed that I had to use a ladder to a step stool to get in. Okay. So one night I fell out of bed and I hit my head on the floor. Oh dear. And I decided. Uh, I needed to sell it because the bed was just too high. Yeah. So after that, I um, actually I sold it to a woman who was over six foot tall, and when she stood on at, in the lower floor, her head like went like this. Oh dear. She loved it, fell in love with it, and bought it for her backyard for her grandkids in the backyard, and it's still there. Oh. So then I bought a 2015 Shasta, which was 14 foot. And it was um, beautiful, all redone by another sister and her husband. And I realized it was too tall for me. I couldn't reach the cabinets at the yeah. top. So I sold it to another sister. And then, lo and behold, I found the perfect camper for me. It is a, a 2015 tag. And it's made by New Camp in Sugar Creek, Ohio. Uh -huh. It's Amish. little. It's, uh, what would you say? It's eight foot, maybe? I think ten. I don't know. I know it weighs 975 pounds. Okay. And it's probably eight foot. Yeah. I can stand up and get dressed in it. Not completely. Uh huh. Um, it's got air conditioning, a stereo, TV, DVD player. Um, Let's a take a fantastic look. Fantastic fan. That's great. Yeah. So it's perfect for me. It'll probably be my. How cute is this? <laughs> and you have a fan up there and mm -hmm. cupboards and. And it also makes into a queen size bed. Okay. Uh, when I travel alone, which I usually do, yeah, um, I like the the twin bed so I can have company, and yeah. she can bring a blanket and sit on the floor. And a couple months ago, we watched a movie uh, in here while it was raining. We had popcorn. Yeah. And it's just a cozy nest. How fun! In fact, fun. it's called Noonie's Nest. So when you travel by yourself, or is it usually two sisters on the fly events? Always. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't taken it with my husband yet, but he's anxious to go. Okay. He wants to go this fall, so we'll try it. Okay, yeah. terrific. Yeah. Let's take a look at your kitchen back here. All right, this is my full kitchen, believe it or not. I have a freezer refrigerator that's a door cold. Oh, nice. And uh, as soon as I get ready to go camping, I fill it up. Uh-huh. So I, it's a dual. This is the freezer, and yeah. this is the refrigerator. Yeah. And it keeps things cold constantly. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, how do you power that? Um, either gas or electric. Okay. Usually electric. Uh, so this has built in um, a generator or what? No, it's uh, electric. This is all electric when I plug in to electric. Okay, so you this have to has be plugged to be in. Used with electric. I do have okay. a gas tank for the gas stove. Okay. A full sink. Mm -hmm. I keep my Keurig in there. And this is a messy cabinet, but this is my... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I have, I'm organizing that before my next. But yeah. I host a lot of um, breakfast here. Oh, nice! At the picnic table. I, when I had a bigger camper, it set eight in the inside the camper. This sets maybe two. Okay. So I have coffee here at the picnic table and dessert. Well, you I, are quite the host, aren't I you? I love to. <laughs> I love to host for breakfast. Yeah. But it's um, then it shuts. Closes down, uh -huh. and I also have a tent that goes over it. The uh, whole thing comes out to here, and yeah. I can put a table under here. So it's a perfect camper for someone who's four foot eleven <laughs> or six foot tall. Because yeah. a lot of taggers, this is a tag, 
and a lot of tag ers are real tall men and oh, women uh -huh. and they get the extra long there's an extra long when you can get tag. yeah um so it's perfect i finally found the camper that's perfect for me yeah Okay. So you have such a large piece of property that you had suggested we actually take your golf cart. Sure, and I'll give you a little tour. Okay, of the compound. sounds great. Yeah, come on. Hop in. Okay, I'm gonna not go on the driver's side because you do not want me driving. <laughs> I don't mind. I, I am. I am known for getting lost. <laughs> well, I do a lot of turnarounds. Oh. All right, and we're off. Oh, you're a little speedster, aren't you? Not Shelly? really. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the um, compound. Okay. We have six acres. <laughs> um, we mow this every week. Uh -huh. It's a little bumpy for <laughs> videoing, but good luck. <laughs> okay. So, um, we'll go on a couple trails first. Sounds good. And then I'll show you where my two brothers live and my cousin. Sounds good. <clears throat> so how long have you lived here? Oh, 41 years. Okay. This is a railroad track behind our house. Uh-huh. The kids love the golf cart. Okay. I can imagine. <laughs> Yeah. My grandkids would have a ball on this thing. A lot of ball blackberries back here, but they're not ripe yet. Uh-huh. Some of the kids are speed demons. <laughs> and others are not. So, um, we have a lot of deer in the backyard almost every night. This is the hill the kids like to speed down. Okay. And we love the train behind us. Yeah. We love the train. It's at Christmas time the um the uh, snow train comes from Chicago. Uh-huh. And it's all decorated really beautifully and uh, we love it. It's, so that's the grapevine trail over there, the grape trail. My brother has a lot of grapes. Uh-huh. We have out here. A lot of deer. This is a, one of the spots they love to lay down in. Uh -huh. Shady area. I don't know if we'll see any animals. I doubt it. We might. And in the October, we have what's called Halloween trails. We decorate them in the Halloween motif. Oh, how fun. With lanterns and scary people and uh, we dress up and this is one of the hiding spots my husband hides in over there uh -huh. and, we and we dress up and scream or whatever we can do to scare the kids how many grandkids do you have i have four um and do yeah. they live close two of them live 10 miles from here and the other two live uh two and a half hours oh that's so nice. it's not bad yeah mine are all spread out in different states and countries. Yes, this is my brother's house here. Okay. This is his property has three acres. We have six. How nice to have family so close yeah. by. This is my brother. Here he's got, he's got his Halloween trail also. So they have a lot of trails to go now. Yeah. And uh, he's been cleaning out his yard. Yeah. We never have a dull moment. You know, it's just very difficult thing with mowing. Uh -huh. Now, your husband's Italian. He is. And what's your nationality? Well, it's uh, Irish, English, and Swedish. Okay. And German. And my German. My father was German, and my mother was English and, and Irish. Uh -huh. And do you go up to Frankenmuth? We love Frankenmuth, yeah. Okay. I love the German. Yeah, it's a lot know. of fun. Yeah. This is my little vegetable garden, very small, uh, up there in my she shed. Okay, let's take a um, Can we get out and take a look? Yeah, I would love yeah. to. Yes. A woman with her she shed. Oh, I was actually, I joined the she shed sister um, in the very beginning before I had a she shed. Now this particular shed 
yeah. is over 150 years old. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And okay. we boomed it uh, over on a truck from the farm house. Oh, you didn't huge... drill it here. You no, brought it over. No, we boomed it on a trailer. It was from the farmhouse next to my brother. <gasps> and it was originally a chicken coop. Okay. Really bad in shape, bad shape. But I used it as um, a garden shed okay. in the beginning. And then I got eight chickens, <laughs> and my husband made it into a Martha Stewart chicken house. Oh, my. Chicken coop, and it was wonderful. And after my chickens all died, mm -hmm. uh, he turned it into a she shed. And he and a friend of ours um, yeah. tore it all the way down to the studs. But it was all put together originally with wooden pegs. Well, this has quite a history, this little she shed. Yeah. Oh, look and, how uh, cute. You can see the original oak. Yeah. And the original uh, pegs up there in the corner. Uh -huh. And over here by the door, there's pegs. It was put together with pegs. Back oh, in the my day. goodness. Look at that. Yeah. And so uh, you, it's it's a French theme because I love France. Uh huh. And um, we've been to Paris. And my girlfriend has helped me decorate it with um, a lot of um, poodles. Yeah. And now I'm using it as a craft room with my grandkids how fun jewelry making these are oh, some yeah. of the things they can just pick and choose i just taught my 11 year old to make some jewelry really yeah i'm anxious to get to my daughter's house because she has a nine-year-old i think it would be fun oh yes well this is a great craft and they can make anything yeah um, with this stuff so it's it's a fun room and i have a refrigerator full of good <laughs> drinks for the kids yeah i love your colors thank you yeah. Um, we do a lot of fun things in here. And my husband and I, during COVID, yeah. played a lot of games in here. Oh, um, fun, game yeah. Day, just to get away from the house, yes. out yeah. into someplace different. Right. And so this is, I'm working on organizing the jewelry making mm -hmm. for the kids fun. and other crafts. Yeah. So I can show you some other things we're doing. But it's, sure. It's, oh. <gasps> these, are, these are a type of a bush that grows in the back and they have holes in them oh and i'm getting them ready for the the kids i have nieces and nephews that are six to 14 grandkids mm -hmm. also so i'll show you outside what we're going to make next week okay let's um, take a look we're going to make these well this is just a work in progress but the, the, oh these are just some of the oh my goodness the beads that let's take a look i have here. to paint the wood again <laughs> But these are what we're going to make with the grandkids. These with the sticks. Oh, how yeah. fun. And these over here. So now, these do they clank like wind chimes? A uh, little not bit. really. They're, yeah. full, they're full wind chimes. But these we're going to make um, with the sticks that have holes in them. They're really fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. For the little kids to make. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is my full... Um, riverbed with a lot of rocks from Michigan and Petoskey stones, uh -huh. which I told you about Petoskey stones. Yeah, we're going to have to go inside and, and talk about that. These are all Petoskey stones here. These are them. They're beautiful in, when they're wet. You can Michigan is about the only place you can find Petoskey stones. Mm -hmm. They have a certain design on them. This is a full pond that my next door neighbor painted about 10 years ago. Oh. And it's got fish, and it's just... Oh, that's all painted. It's all painted, hand-painted, yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, How cute. It's a fun pond. It is fun. Yeah, so the she shed has a tin roof, and um, uh -huh. I painted it twice, and it's holding up very good. Yeah. And it's very well um, insulated, believe it or not. Even though there's not a lot of it, there's only insulation in the ceiling. Uh huh. But um, and these lights come on at night. We oh, didn't pretty. have them on last night. But yeah. yeah, it's just a fun place for the kids. To it is, and you have it's, so much power. So I understand you're going to be hosting a couple events here. Um, August twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. I'm hosting a meet and greet backyard campout for okay. some of the sisters, and we're going to camp in the back in a circle and have the bonfire in the middle and oh. for new sisters and old sisters and whoever wants to come how fun so we have about 25 coming That's and then fun. i'm hosting an event uh the end of september in frankenmuth michigan at a um very nice private campground 
Nice. So, yeah, it'll be fun. I've not hosted anything but meet and greet. Uh huh. So, it's well, and me. It, well, and yeah, other and, sisters, and, and, and I must curb. say, you are such a gracious host. Thank you. I mean, we had breakfast this morning. You went all out with the bacon well, you know, and scrambled it's, eggs. It's really and I've always wanted a bed and breakfast. It's from the garden Homegrown tomatoes. I love sisters to stop by and yeah. spend the night or stay as long as they want. Yeah. And uh, I hosted a sister from Atlanta, Georgia in May. And she stayed a week. Yeah. And uh, she's coming back August 20th. Third, and she's going to meet Michigan sisters. Yeah. So it'll be fun. Yeah, I wish you would be here, but you won't. You're going to be on your travels. You know, eventually I need to get to my daughters because they're getting a little bit anxious. It's already August. I know, and you left in June, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I got to get there. Yeah, I don't blame you. But it's. Uh, I'm so happy to have you come. Uh, it's, and, it's been. And it's stay. been fun. Yeah. And thank you so much for doing my laundry. Hey, I'm going to put it in the dryer in a few minutes. So. <laughs> Um, I'll give you some more tour of the compound. Let's go. Where my other brother lives. Okay. And my cousin. Mm -hmm. And we do have a pool over oh. here on the compound. Oh. I love how you call it the compound. Why do you call it the compound? Well, because it is like a compound. It's anytime you have more than a few acres of land and you're all related. Oh, okay. We've always called it the compound. It okay. sounds like it's. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's just a family that live here, mm -hmm. and we have actually a lot of privacy, believe it or not, back here. We have deer every night, mm -hmm. um, and coyote sometimes, and fox, but not very often. Yeah. Just once in a while. All right. Did we see your garden? My garden? Oh, well, we didn't see your garden. This is the first garden I've had in about eight years. Okay. So, I only planted cucumbers and tomatoes. Okay. And the cucumbers, I've only gotten two. The tomatoes. Are... Yeah, but you have this all fenced off because of the deer, huh? Yes, I do. And these, yeah. um, this is lining from inside suit coats and jackets. Now, did you get these from New Orleans? Oh, yes. The bees. Yeah, yes. I have a whole collection, too. I've been to many Mar Mardi Gras. Yeah. Yeah. But I, we're having a sunflower growing contest on the compound. Okay. And the Asiatic garden beetles have really chewed them a lot, but they're coming. Yeah. And then I planted more cucumbers to see if they would grow. Yeah. It's not been a good growing season, except for tomatoes. So. Yeah, your tomatoes are coming in. They're coming in nicely. They were delicious this morning. And there's. there's I like, like the little cherry ones. Five different types of tomatoes. Roma over there. Uh huh. Early girl right here. Yep. Um, different tomato types. Yeah. Oh, these will yeah. be big. And no rabbits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're gonna be nice. Yeah. So next year it might be a bigger garden. The aromas are kind of pretty good size there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. They're they're really. I'm I'm happy with myself because the yeah. bugs have been terrible this year. Oh, okay. Uh, the um, yeah, the Asiatic garden beetles live under the ground, and they only come out at night. Mm -hmm. Have you do you have them in California? I don't know. Oh, they're bad. Yeah. If you dig down three inches, you'll see them. Okay. And at night they come out and they chew. Yeah. But that's part of gardening. Yeah. So I'll show you the flower garden. Okay. Sounds well, good. They do grow out there. Oh, you, you do. Well, well, we'll catch him later. We'll catch him later. Uh, um, ah, I got stuff on my feet oh, here. Oh, yeah. There's um, a lot of pricky things. I'm a barefoot here. person. Are I you? love, yeah, I love going barefoot. We have a lot of, um, so this is, um, okay. I love hydrangeas. Yeah. So I'm going to hop out. I'm going to hop out. I love lavender. This, um, middle hydrangea in the middle over there, I brought back from England. The pink one? Nope. It's, there's, oh. there's. Well, let me go oh, around. There's a lot of hydrangeas. This one that's just starting to bloom. Okay. I brought back. 20 years ago from England. From England? Oh. Yeah. When it, you can see how thick it is. Oh, I see. Them. Okay. From England. It's just starting to bloom. And mm -hmm. it was like six inches long. What color will that be? That'll be beautiful white and then it'll turn pink. Oh, okay. Like, but this is a different one here? There's a lot of, yeah, I have different eight varieties. different kinds of hydrangeas on the okay. compound. Yeah. yeah. But um, this is just a Look how cute this is. Always. Yeah. Um, 
so much variety here. Yeah. I love how organic it looks. It is. It's it's uh, definitely an English plate garden. Um, I like to throw everything together. Uh huh. I'm not real. Um, My daughter-in-law had her backyard like this. Yeah. Very organic. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I love the Russian sage with mm -hmm. the yellow and the red and. Yeah. I don't know how much longer it's going to be blooming, but I think it'll bloom till September. Yeah. If I keep deadheading. These are false sunflowers. Uh -huh. Plants. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Now, we didn't take a look in your gazebo yet. Oh, no. We no. take a look in your the gazebo? The gazebo we built 30 years ago. Um... It started off with the octagon deck that my husband built, uh -huh. and then we built up after that. We figured we needed shade and a place to entertain. And he just built this Trinity light about four years ago, uh -huh. uh, cedar, and it's a solar light. comes on at night, and it helps to light the way yeah. into the... We were sitting in here last night, and your husband was helping me map out my next travels. Yes, he was. He loves doing that, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. So this was this is um, where we hang out in the summertime. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of company that comes, and we cook out. And he for Christmas last year, he got a uni pizza oven, which <gasps> is under there. Okay. And it runs with pellets. I've and heard about these. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all uni blocked pizza up. pizza oven is, okay. uh, takes 60 seconds to make a 12-inch pizza. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's really nice. We're just getting used to it. Yeah. But um, this is this is our hangout How for comfortable. the summer. How comfortable. Yeah. And we, we can stay out here all year, actually. You know, we have a heater. Mm -hmm. but... And you have, um, is this just screen or is it uh, it's enclosed? Green. It's yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, we don't have glass for it. But, mm -hmm. um, you yeah. have shades and everything. Yeah, and we have curtains. Uh, shades that come down for the sun. Yeah. And it's like a day like today. It's beautiful sit in here and drink coffee eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. we had wine last night we had wine, cheese and crackers. <laughs> i don't and normally I, drink wine but it was pretty good I don't once either, in a while once in a while you know in the evening we yeah. have a glass of wine yeah and we love it yeah and it's all fun right. to entertain all right all right let's let's, let's move on, on. oh there he is there the it, man of the hour the man of the hour <laughs> We'll get you. <laughs> Hi, Joe. How are you doing? We're having a tour. We are having a tour. So I understand you're quite the traveler, you and your wife. Oh, we love to travel. We just love to travel. And my wife is a great navigator when we travel. Uh, Thank you. We like to go to out of the way places. Mm -hmm. I know you helped me with a lot of back roads to go to my next destination. That was really helpful. Good. You know, one thing that you might want to look at it. It's called Atlas Obscura. Okay. And it's uh, like hidden gems that most people have never heard of or seen. Yeah. Speaking of hidden gems, we need to go in and see those. Um, Polished rocks that you have. Oh, the Petoskey stones. Yeah. Like Made up to Michigan. Yeah, we'll go in and see that. So let me ask you so your wife goes off with these sisters. What is your feeling about that, her traveling by herself? Well, you know, at first I was a little bit afraid. Not so much for her because I knew she could handle things, but uh, other people. But, uh, you know, since uh, she's been on so many camping trips and uh, she does very well you know I'm at ease with it and you know the thing I always tell her is have fun that's the most <laughs> important yourself. thing is it? we do yes. have fun more fun than anyone oh, oh yes. that, that's yeah. our right. that's sisters yeah. on the fly oh, yeah. slogan we have more and fun, more come fun than happy. everyone and right. she comes home happy, happy <laughs> and I'm happy to see her back home now <laughs> I understand that you tagged along one time and she actually left you what happened at that particular trip oh remember when, when left she left you and your bike yes. yes. oh yes yeah left me in towers <laughs> for about uh, three nights with my bicycle 
Okay. But it was close by, you know, there's a lot of, you know, places to ride the bike in Taos, and I had a good time, really. I enjoyed myself. That's we had terrific. good neighbors up there, too, that uh, I knew that if needed anything, they were there. Yeah. But it was good. It was really enjoyable. Yeah. So when you travel, um, you've been to a different co other countries and things like that, but when you travel around the United States, do you go in your um, tag there together, or do you... What do you, we how have do you... not done that yet. Okay. Um, but one of the things I'd like to do is take, is do what you've been doing, and some of the sisters take a drive around the whole country. Mm -hmm. Out west, we talked about going out west uh, this fall, mm -hmm. uh, maybe October. Yeah. And uh, with the trailer, and uh, that would be my. But that in would the, be our first trip in the trailer. Yeah. We've done a lot of driving. We stopped at B&Bs and yeah. hotels and things like that. But this would be our new adventure. And well, great. And you're never too old to learn something new. That's true. Now, who will, <laughs> do, who will do most of the traveling since she seems to be the expert here? <laughs> will you do the most of the traveling the or will you share? Mm -hmm. the yeah, the driving. Um, we we will we'll share. share. We'll, we'll share. share. I love to drive. We used to fight who was going to drive home. We lived in Philadelphia the first year we got married. Yeah. Uh -huh. And at Christmas, we were coming home, and I wanted to drive. He wanted to drive. I wanted to drive. He wanted to drive. <laughs> so I ended up driving, and I cannot believe we talked constantly, and I almost ran out of gas. Oh, dear. <laughs> but we found and a I gas love station. To drive. And I we both love to drive. Love, we yeah. enjoy yeah. driving. That's one thing my husband does. He tracks wherever I go, right? Oh, and I usually try to fill up, you know, my gas mm -hmm. tank when I'm going to ride about a half a tank. Yeah. As soon as I hit that quarter of a tank sometimes, my husband texts me, you're getting close. Go <laughs> that is He knows good. me so well. Yeah. You know what they need to do in venting a car is a voice activated <laughs> item that'll tell you you need gas. That's perfect. Because sometimes you you know you're so busy looking around that you oh, don't really? really see that little yeah, for you know sure. gas gas gauge oh, meter yes, coming yes, on. For sure. Yeah. 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 But uh now we enjoy traveling together. Uh, you know, we've traveled a lot of different places, yeah. places that, you know, we never thought we would go, but, you know, we're adventuresome. Wonderful. Now, we're not quite ready for pasture yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. Yeah. Well, let's go on another little adventure. Let's Shall go. we go across sure. to see the um, lake? Yeah, let's walk over there. All right. Sure. You want to go, dear? No, I'll watch you from here. Should I put my shoes on if we're going to go to the you lake? Should. Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. So you're you live? Let's see. That's you right there, right? That's me. And this is the lake. And this is the lake. We can go right over here. Watch the traffic. We will see. Oh, there's one fisherman. Belleville Lake. Belleville Lake. It's got a lot of fish. Now I understand your town is one square mile. One square mile <laughs> is the town. The township is much bigger. Okay. Yes. Oh, I love these little, um, what do they call these? Seesaws. Seesaws. Oh my god, I used to drive it. Teeter totter. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That takes yeah, me back. So this is Belleville Lake, which runs into the Huron River. Okay. And um, this is a fireplace that's down below. Uh -huh. It's been here for many years. My father had boats up north, but we used to ice fish. Oh, okay. And ice skate, and now with the global warming, yeah. it never freezes. Not anymore, huh? No, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't freeze. freeze anymore? It never freezes enough to go ice fishing. Oh. I believe it's global warming. I mean, times have changed. Yeah. And Michigan's got almost warmer than Alabama or Florida. Oh, wow. And, uh, huh. But it's a beautiful lake to 
water ski. Mm -hmm. The University of Michigan rowing team practices every day during the week on this lake. Okay. Yeah, I passed by um, one of the, I don't know if it was like a wildlife re preserve or something up in uh, Ann Arbor. Oh, there's a lot of... Um, yeah, and they were having a rowing oh, were they? event there, yeah, okay. so I couldn't really go in and see right. too much. But right. Rowing is a, a very popular sport, sport on this lake mm -hmm. for the University of Michigan row team. They're here every day. They go from the park down there, uh -huh. down here, and back again. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's good. It's a nice lake. I like to see, you know, things used. You know, so many parks oh. you go into, there's nobody there. Right. Right. You know, it's right. nice when the community uses the facilities that they have. Mm -hmm. It is. It's great. All right. But, uh, yeah, this is a nice lake and good fishing. Our grandkids fish here a lot. Okay. And there's bass, big mouth bass in here also. The boy that lives here loves to fish. He's 15 and he takes pictures of every fish he gets. Aww. Yeah. Sweet. Alright. Perfect. So this used to be this building here, the Belleville Fridge Shop. Oh. Uh, back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, it was the Belleville Print Shop. Uh -huh. And actually, it has a separate address. Oh, wow. yeah. Uh huh. It never, they never changed the, watch the traffic coming around. The yeah. You got to hightail it. Okay. Yeah. So, this is our three acres over here. Mm hmm. Um, and then we have three acres behind our house. Okay. So, this is what we mow every week. Oh. Uh, who mows? We have three lawnmowers. <laughs> okay. Tractors. So we have to mow, you know, and I love mowing. So does everybody get on a, and you just have a lawn mowing party? Well, we do. We all try to mow on Thursday, so there's usually six mowers out here mowing. <laughs> and, um, but my granddaughters are 14, so they're going to mow a little bit this summer. I'm going to pay them to mow and we'll see how well they do. Yeah. I'll put cones at the corners. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boy, yeah, that you know that's a great idea. Yeah, it is. It's hard to get uh, anybody to mow very reasonable. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. So we're gonna. I bet it'd be really fun for them. Well, we're gonna pay them a little bit, and I think it would. They've done it before. Mm -hmm. They didn't last very long. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, yep. Yeah. This house was built in the in the uh, 40s, 1940s. Uh-huh. It's like a cottage house. We call it the brick cottage. Mm -hmm. We have a little sign. In the England, all the houses are have a, a name. And we love England. So we call it the brick cottage. The brick cottage. Okay. I thought uh, if you wanted to go inside and display your tea collection. Oh, my tea collection? And that maybe was... see your rock. Just a little bit. Oh, I yeah. love tea. Yeah. Sounds good. I think that would be fun. Tea cup uh, collection. My grandmother collected teacups all her life from England. They're only from England. And I started collecting teacups when I was 12. Uh huh. And she's given me quite a few. Uh -huh. And I broke quite a few yeah. over the last 40 years. Yeah. But um, I just got a really special one for my birthday this year. Oh, let's take a look. And it's from my neighbor, and it is a, the commemorative uh, cup from when Queen Elizabeth II was crowned in West, uh, Westminster Abbey, June 1953, June that 21st. Is a special one. So this yeah. is my special new cup. How and, fun! Um, I love England. It's very dear to my heart. My my son's godparents live in Bath. Uh -huh. So these are Staffordshire dogs that are 150 years old, uh -huh. made in England. And I have two small ones that on the fireplace, and I brought those home in my suitcase. And um, I see. Um, my um, mother loved tea parties. She loved having tea parties, you know, with her mm -hmm. granddaughter. And actually. Um, great granddaughter too and then um we've had several tea parties here yeah in the dining room with their grandkids um there there were 10 little girls they all wore hats and uh they had a manners class did you make your own hats 
Some of them we did. We yeah, did flowers they're on. fun to make. But I bought a lot of hats when the kids, grandkids were small. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had a manners class before that for the kids. Oh. Um, now you do you do the thing where you put your pinky up? Yes. Yes. Do. Yes. yes. I passed yeah, that on to my grandkids, yes. and I bought my um, older granddaughter a tea set, and she has since passed it on to her little sister. That's great. Well, my granddaughters love love tea parties. They're fun. And my nieces and nephews. Um, even my grandson was at a tea party once, and he wore a tie. Yeah, we got the, the guys it involved was so much sometimes. Fun. Yeah, too. the guys could fit in. And when uh, Princess Diana got married. I think it was Princess Diana or Princess Kate. Uh -huh. We got up at five in the morning. I made an English breakfast. We, uh, my daughter and granddaughter and my oh, neighbors and friends fun. were here. And we sat in the living room and watched while we had a bre English breakfast tea party. Uh -huh. So that was fun. Yeah. But these are just very special to me. I don't know if, and here's Queen Elizabeth. She's a bobblehead. Okay. <laughs> and she hasn't been out this summer, but she waves. Okay. Like She's a good waver. Oh, I see. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> She's a very friendly queen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Princess Diana, I think they got married actually also on July 29th. I think they did. And yeah. that's our anniversary, yes. too. Is it? Really? Yeah. So uh, then I have more teacups in here, but it's... Um, so it's mostly the cups and not the pots so much, huh? Well, these were all my grandmother's. Okay. And my great grandmother's mm -hmm. dishes. Everything in here was my grandmother's. Yeah. My grandmother's. How fun yeah. to have yeah. that collection. So I don't really use the pink dishes much. They're very old. Yeah. But I do sometimes. So these are called what? These are called Fatoski stones, and they're primarily found in uh, Lake Michigan all the way around the lower peninsula and the northern part of Lake Huron. We find uh -huh. them as far south as Let almost the thumb area. Let me put these up here a little bit so you can see it really close. Look how interesting that is. And you said that these are... Um, They're fossil coral. Fossil coral. Yes. Look at that. Because at one time all of the whole Great Lakes area were underwater. Okay. Until the glaciers came and... Uh, but anyways, we, we uh, find them on the beaches. When we go on the beaches in around Lake Michigan, like around Petoskey, Harbor Springs, or Traverse City, we go yeah. into the beaches, and it's really a lot of fun looking and wading in the water and trying to find these. It used to be a lot easier to find them, but you know, so many people do that now that uh, it's, it's getting more and more difficult. But we do find them around Lake Huron, uh, even in Taos Bay. I know our kids love, and our grandkids love to go into the water looking for them. Yeah. They're called Petoskey Stone because, I, I don't know, maybe because they were first found around the Petoskey area that makes sense. of northern Michigan. Yeah. This is what they look like before they're polished. Oh, okay. And oh, in wow. the water, in pounds. the water, they're even more beautiful. Yeah. You look really can't find stash. them unless you find them in the water. Mm -hmm. Because the water brings out the pattern. Right. But I can see the pattern in here. Right. Very right. Faint. Yeah. And when it's underwater, it's very prominent. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see. Mm -hmm. Wow. And how did you polish these? With a polishing kit. Okay. There, it a takes stone a, a stone polishing kit. It takes you a few weeks. You cannot use a the bottom, rock but. polisher with this. I right. tried this many years ago to try to polish it when I was mm -hmm. teaching. I can't even remember the grade level. And I had a uh, tumbler, rock tumbler, yeah. that you used to polish rocks right. in. These get pulverized because they're soft. Mm -hmm. uh. So uh, you can't <laughs> use a tumbler, rock tumbler, to polish them. They feel pretty hard to me, though. They do. Oh, they are. They, they, they are. Will, will disintegrate. Hit in like the head with hard, one. It? it does. They're beautiful. They They're are just. Beautiful. This one is has the pattern on both sides through yes. and through. And a lot of them do. Um, this is interesting here. Yeah. 
those. That's it like is. That. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They're. Yeah. I have a lot of Petoskey stones in my garden here. Mm -hmm. What they're sinking, so I'm gonna have to dig them out, put them in water, and get them polished. That'll be fun. But yeah, yeah, they're they're fun, and it's a fun thing to find for Michigan. You know, for people who are from Michigan, yeah. they love yeah. collecting them. Speaking mm -hmm. of fun, mm -hmm. this has been such a fun hosting experience. Um, it has been for you. us too. Um, it really has. We've enjoyed you enjoyed so much. Your, I gave you such last-minute notice. Yes, <laughs> I was um, on my way to St. Clair. Yeah. When I got your text, and what did I say? Yeah. Yes, come. Come. We might not be home. Yeah. But yeah. make yourself at home. Find the gazebo yeah. and park there. Yeah. Find the gazebo <laughs> and help yourself to drinks, yeah. whatever's in there. Uh, so we appreciate you coming. I'm we really so do. I'm so happy that you know we're sisters together. Yeah, we are. We are, and it's been a. I love Sisters on the Curb. It's I do the too. Best. I love Sisters. Besides on the joining curb. the Sisters, um, I will leave a link to Sisters on the Fly, and from there, you can go. Um, once you're a member, you can go on. There's a lot of different um, subgroups. Sisters mm -hmm. on the Curb is just one of them. Oh yeah. There's a sewing group. Yes. Oh, just quilting so group. Many quilting. Uh, any dozens activity. and dozens. Right. Any fly activity. Fishing? Yeah. I would love to learn how to fly. I would fish too. One day. I would too. Mm -hmm. I I love to fish, but um, yeah. there's just um, a variety of something talents. Something for everyone. It seems like every sister has something to offer. It is. And it's just that's what I like. It's about a great it. group, and it is. we have more fun than anyone. We do. <laughs> I mean. As what an else outsider, I would attest to that. <laughs> he he really does. He's a he's yeah. a true fan of yeah. sisters. Yeah. Oh, we're happy. We're, he is a true we're fan. We're happy to have men um, being our fans. Yes, <laughs> yes, we are. And sometimes we have a Mister Sister event mm -hmm. where the Misters are invited. Mm -hmm. And next year we're having one in Michigan with the misters our second one uh -huh. and he said he would come mm -hmm. and we appreciate the men coming they start the fire they bring the firewood <laughs> they do the grunt work that All we usually do <laughs> and and they're they add a little something yeah they do they really do mm -hmm. yeah so well, thank you for supporting us you're very welcome very welcome <laughs> we've enjoyed your company very much thank you yeah. and we'll see you on the see road you, see you on the road